Okay, so it says uh, you have a format buffer. So for the formic asset, we know the PK is about 3.75. And the buffer already tells you uh, it's 0.1 more. And the pH is 3.75. So remember, uh, the pH of the buffer equals to the pKa minus log the concentration of the conjugate acid over the concentration of the conjugate base. So in this case, the pH equals to pKa. That means uh, this log part is equal to zero. So we can know the concentration of the conjugate acid actually equals to the concentration of the conjugate base here. So since in total, the concentration is 0.1, so we know that the concentration of the conjugate acid and the base is equal to 1 half times this 0.1, so that's 0.05 more. So in this case, we can calculate the moles of the conjugate acid here is about concentration times volume. So that's 0.05 times here it's, you have 500 milliliters, so it's 0.5. So that's equal to 0.025 more. And that would be the same for the conjugate base. And now it says you're gonna add some potassium hydroxide. You're gonna add about five milliliters of the one more of the potassium hydroxide. So the potassium hydroxide will consume the conjugate acid and produce the conjugate base. So first we can calculate the more of the potassium hydroxide here that's equal to C times V, so it's one times five times 10 to minus three. So that's about 0.005 more. So from here, we know, right, the potassium hydroxide will react with a conjugate acid. HA will react with potassium hydroxide to produce A minus, and potassium iron and the water. So as you can see, when you add the potassium hydroxide, you consume the acid, generate the conjugate base. So in this case, and ratio is one to one. We can calculate after the addition, the moles of the conjugate acid here is equal to the initial moles of the acid minus the moles of the potassium hydroxide. So that's 0.025 minus 0 0.005, so it becomes 0 0.02 more. And then the moles of the conjugate base should be the initial moles of the conjugate base plus moles of the potassium hydroxide that is added. So it's 0 0.025 plus 0 0.005, it becomes 0 0.03 more. So in this case, the new pH, again, it's still a buffer because there's still coexistence between the conjugate acid and base, equals to the pKa again, minus log, uh, same, the concentration of the conjugate acid over the concentration of the conjugate base. In this case, the ratio of the concentration should be the ratio of the moles because they are in the same solution. So it's about 3.75 minus log. Now become 0 0.02 over 0 0.03. So let's do the calculations. So now it becomes about 3.93, and this is answer, that's it.